Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Dewan. I'm here with a special guest. I have Sharon Lawrence. She's an IT support analyst, and she just completed her CCNA Cyber Ops um, certification. She actually went through the scholarship program. I her to come here to talk about the program and talk about her experience in IT. With no further ado, what's up, Sharon? Hi, how are you today? I'm doing good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. I appreciate you taking time to come on. Thanks for inviting me. Yes. So you're an IT specialist. Would you tell me a little bit about your background? Um, yeah. I actually started in banking since I first started in like when I had gotten married, my, my husband at the time had um was a person that did computers. He made computers all the time and did computers with people, you know, support, always up upgraded people's computers. So he was looking into A plus at the time. It was about 20 years ago. Okay. So he decided to do A plus certification and I decided to look in with it. The same thing he was doing, I was trying to look into it with him to figure out maybe I should do the same thing too. Kind of like that story that you had with Marie and you know Kendall, that story kind of like our story were like the same. We went in and did our A plus together. Right, okay. And then after we did it, 20 years ago, there was not really any jobs at the time. Because during that time, they were outsourcing those jobs to India and Philippines at the time. Right. And then I went back into banking. And then after that, we had our first child. And then from there, I went back to school again and went and studied IT in school. And then that's how I decided to get into the IT field again. But it was hard when I finished school. It was hard to find a job. Right, right. Very, very, very hard. But I ended up getting the chance. Um, I started at a working a working home company. It's like a third party company working from home doing support, but it was kind of hard. I worked there for two weeks and the training was just terrible. So I never continued to stay there. Then I ended up looking for a new job. Like it took me about another year to find a new job because IT was hard if you didn't have experience. It was very, very hard right. to find a job in IT with no experience. So I looked on Craigslist one day. <laughs> Just looking on Craigslist, and I found a job that had like they had like they needed computer support people, and they had a lot of positions available. Right. And I applied to it, and the guy, the recruiter, called me back actually like maybe two days later, and gave me a little phone interview, and then he gave me a Skype interview, and he said I'll get back to you like next week. And the funny thing about it, he didn't get back to me until probably maybe like a like a month later. Okay. And he finally got back to me a month later. And he said, the hiring manager wants to interview you and he wants to interview you like in probably like sometime next week. I just want to get time with you to figure out what is good for you. So I was like, OK. Then the next day he calls me back. He goes, oh, forget about it. No interview. He just wants to give you the job. Oh, man. <laughs> a good experience. So I started in like help desk. OK. And I saw the bottom and help desk. We were doing things like um, resetting passwords, you know, and helping customers with their email, support emails. That's all we did all day at that job. And then I got a promotion. Okay, congrats. Later, to, um, thank you, to work in the mobile point of sales department, the wireless mobile point of sales department, which okay. we did, we worked on tech support for a company doing their wireless um, mobile point of sales machine, their printers, we made sure that their networks were up to date and their security was up to date, okay. software was up to date. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, so you had your A plus, you yeah. got into IT, you made moves, you worked your way up. Um, congratulations for that. That's that's a great journey. It, it took you a while to get there, but you persevered and got there. And yeah. I salute you for keep going and not giving up. So that's that's very commendable, you know, and encouraging. Now you went through, I guess, the CCNA. Um, cyber Ops Scholarship Program? Correct, yes. Okay, um, which cohort were you? I was in the sixth cohort. Actually, okay. I was supposed to be in like a later cohort, then I ended up being switched up higher to the sixth one. Yeah. Okay, so how, could you tell me about that experience? Um, That was a very good experience. Like, I found out about that scholarship program from a, somebody at my job. A couple of my people at my job were, you know, doing it, and they told me about it. And I signed up. The process was kind of long, like, you know, to do, to get through it. And, like, when I got accepted to the program, they didn't give me a start date until, like, maybe a year. 
after. It was everybody had far start out dates. Okay. But um, yeah, I, I mean, I learned a lot. It was a good experience. You know, I got to um, get good, good, good training because everything was like um, we had chapters to read like every two weeks and answer questions and do the labs for each chapters and we had to do it like every two weeks. And it was a self paced course. You had to do it on your own. Okay. But, um, yeah, it was a really good experience. You had good mentors you could talk to if you wanted to talk to a mentor. You know, and you had time limits where you have to finish everything by time limits. So you can get your vouchers to do the um, CCNA cyber ops exams. You know, there was two exams you had to do. Okay. Big section had a, a date that you had to finish by in order for you to get your voucher. Okay. And, um, were the were the labs were they virtual were they Linux? Um, what 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 type of um, programs or applications did you get a chance to um, operate on in the program? They were um, virtual labs, all in virtual labs. Like we had different sections, so they had a, they did have a Linux section. Okay. And they had some other sections, with other security tools that that were in there that we worked with. A whole bunch of um, different security tools out there. It wasn't like. Um, it was security tools, but it weren't it weren't like the big, big, big known ones like out there. But it were some ones that we worked worked with. Okay. You know, like, there's one called Elsa. I remember, like I remember vaguely. About some of them was one of these, like it was called Elsa. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And so you you went on to achieve that certification, correct? Yes, I went on to achieve them. Yeah, I was happy. To get yes, Cong congratulations, congratulations. Um, so now that you have that certification, um, where, and you go through the program, do they help you find a job or give you like some direction after you complete the program? Um, no, they did not help me find a job. That's the only thing I have to look for my own job. And that's been very challenging right now. Cause I noticed in the field, they all want experienced people, people with experience. Right. So I'm just trying to find my way by using networking, LinkedIn and other people trying to find ways to make my way into the field okay well hopefully we can um i can help you do that you know with this interview if somebody's out there and they're looking for a certified cybersecurity um person that's looking for an entry-level position hopefully you can contact sharon i will have all her information in the description so what would you what would you like to do specifically as far as um in in security or what would you like your next position to be I would like any way, anywhere I'll do any type of security position just to get my foot in the door. I can even do work in network engineer with a little bit of um, IT security. Or I'll, if I can find a straight up IT security job, I can do a straight up one. Like I like, I looked into, I looked into the forensic side. I like that side too. Penetration tester, you know, incidents response, security analyst. I've been looking up all those jobs online to see if I match any of them. Okay. I'm looking for a foot in the door. I don't. I don't hear any anyone is good for me that that can help me get just get experience and learn. Right. Cybersecurity or IT security. So going through the program and you had mentors. Um, were, were you able to communicate with those that are also going through the program also? Um, everybody. Well, I guess if you made if you made friends, they had discussion groups. Okay. You can talk to the people in discussion groups. So I guess if you communicate it through the discussion groups with those people, you can find ways to connect to those people. It depends right. on how you were. If you wanted to connect with those people, you can. If you didn't want to connect to them, you don't have to. But we didn't have like like any type of group thing like in like you know in some schools you have like you have to you you're mandatory to talk to people, but in this program you weren't mandatory, you just talk to people on discussion boards. Right. Have you have you been able to like share um, your information on LinkedIn and build your network that way? Was that was is that was that um, a possibility? Um, not that I know of. I mean, I, I I mean, all I did was make connection and friends with people through contacts. Okay. It really nothing really that I can really share, but just posting all the time and you know. Posting positive things, maybe. Yes, mm -hmm. I know. It, there's there's websites like um, Indeed.com, ClearanceJobs.com, yeah. um, DiceJobs.com, and sites like that that seem to be more um, security based. Mm -hmm. So, in the link of this, in the description of this video, what I'll do is I'll post those 
sites and hopefully I'll send them to you also, Sharon. Okay. And I got a couple of friends that are in um, IT security. One, mm -hmm. he's a really good friend and he's actually a manager. So maybe he can give you some direction. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'll definitely connect him with you and send you his information. He is on LinkedIn, so we can make that happen. Well, Sharon, um, I do thank you for coming on. Now, for someone that may be looking to get in the field or looking to go through the program, do you have any advice for them? The only thing I can say is um, don't give up and keep studying. Studying all you can about IT security or IT, just keep your knowledge up to date. Join, join groups and join Facebook groups or LinkedIn groups, make connections on LinkedIn. You know, those things I can give as advice to try to get your foot in the door and just try to take, if you have to take a low level job or, you know, job not paying well just to get experience, do that because that's what happened to me. I took a low experience, a low level paying job and I was able to, within six months, advance and get permanent promoted and get my salary doubled within like Man. six months being there. Yes. Hey. I started from the bottom and I took the low level job, took a chance because some people are, you know, they, they don't they don't want to do that low level job, that low pain, but I did it and it gave me the opportunity to advance. That's a blessing. You said double. <laughs> that, yeah. that That is inspiring right there. You also have a YouTube channel. Do you want to um, let the audience know about your LinkedIn and your also your social medias? Um, yeah, I do have a, I mean, a LinkedIn channel, and it's under my name. I think it's Sharon and Lawrence. Or you can go to www.shaylawrence.com. You can find my LinkedIn that way. And then my YouTube channel is called One Metro Elite. And it's like a very my YouTube channel is just a, um, has a whole bunch of different topics and different things i do on there you can if you're interested you can go check it out yes and i also do music too i'm a music producer oh really yeah i have like an album out on youtube the album out, my album out is on um google play and amazon and oh. um, spot fire so I have that. i'm doing that too and it's under is it under your name yes yeah, on my name you can find it on the metro elite music okay. also. I'm, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna go and support you. And it's all instrumentals. That's all I do. It's all all instrumentals. Oh really? Well, what type? That's not now we talking. <laughs> you know, we talking certifications. Then we talking music. That's what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm trying to get into the um, TV movie industry, like trying to do instrumentals for those type of stuff. So that's why. I mean, so I have like a little tiny studio at home where I make beats, and then I put my first set of music on the album. Okay. Um, what what do you use to make beats? You know, I used to make beats too. My first setup I had to use on um, Reasons. My first oh. setup. My next setup I use um Native Instruments Machine Studio. It's my next my next setup right now that I have right now. Yeah, so you, you got the you you have the machine pad? Yeah, the pad. The studio, the big pad. Oh, you doing it. <laughs> yeah, I used to reuse reason. I think I stopped using um, when I stopped doing music, I was on Reason 5 or whatnot. I've heard that, well, I've always been a fan of Native in Instruments, but Machine itself, I've heard great things about that. Yeah, so um, what genre of music do you create? Everything. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm going to go be for sure check, the, check you out, yeah. and then I'll also put a link to your music in the description. Okay. So, um, Sharon, I thank you for coming on to the channel. Is any anything else you want to say before we're out of here? Um, that's it. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for coming on. And any if all of you, please feel free to connect with Sharon on her YouTube channel, her website, her social media, and check out her music. This and and also I'm gonna have a link to the cyber the Cisco CCNA cybersecurity ops program in the description. And if you have any questions, please feel free, as always, to leave them in the description. Like this video, share this video, and we thank y'all for viewing. Peace.